Hello everyone. So I have had numerous requests regarding using the IPEGA uh, 9023 controller uh, with a Windows tablet. So what I'm going to demo today is uh, I'm going to play um, a PC game from the Steam network on my Microsoft Surface Pro 3 tablet and I'm going to use the IPEGA 9023 controller. Now, ideally, it would have been great if I could actually fit this um, tablet in in uh, landscape mode within uh, within this uh, controller, but it's just a little bit too small for it to fit in landscape mode, right? It's just just a little bit too small, but it can it can hold in it can go in in portrait mode. Uh, so I'll show that uh, in another demo where I'll just play uh, a, a, a vertical scrolling shooter where I can put this in here in portrait mode. But for today's demo, I just want to show how you actually pair this controller with a Windows tablet. And the best tablet I can think of right now uh, is the Surface Pro 3. Uh, the Surface Pro 4 will be coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, and I will be doing a demo on that as well, but until then this is the best tablet to you So let's get ahead and let me so let me just dim the light so you can have a better look at the screen as I go through the uh, tutorial Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do let me just put this controller over here for a second So I have my Windows uh, 10 up on and running on my Surface Pro 3 tablet as you can see here so what I'm gonna do is I need to first turn on the Bluetooth. So with Windows, let me just make sure I go tablet mode, I turn off the tablet mode. Let's do a search. Bring up my soft keyboard, Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth settings. So right now, I'm gonna turn Bluetooth off. Now, before I turn Bluetooth on, I want to mention that there are about there are four modes that you can use with this um, controller. Uh, the first one is called gamepad mode, and gamepad mode essentially um, works when you press the home button and the X button, and you hold it down until you see the search light, which is the orange light, flashing very quickly. When it does that, it's actually looking to pair itself in gamepad mode with a device such as a tablet. Um, the next mode is called keyboard mode. Keyboard mode works when you press the home button and the A key and you hold them down until you see the search button flashing quickly with the orange light, meaning that it's trying to pair with the device. And keyboard, key, keyboard mode is the mode that I'm gonna use with this tablet uh, because pretty much what happens is that this then would mimic a keyboard. So there are the various keys on this controller mimic certain keys on the keyboard. So that is perfect when you're running emulator games that have key mapping uh, capabilities, uh, PC games that run on this as well that have key mapping capabilities, you will be able to map your keys directly to this device. And it also includes mapping the analog keys as well, which is cool. And then there are two other modes, one called iCade mode. iCade mode is when you hold down the same home button and the, um, the B button at the same time. And then the last mode is called SPP, or the iPad, iPad Gaming um, Desktop. And that is, uh, of course, when you hold on the home and the Y button, and you keep that down. Now, that last mode, the SPP mode, that is for special, like, customized games that were made to work with uh, the iPega uh, that you can actually get from something called the um, iPega Touch Apps App Store. So, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be using keyboard mode. And again, just to recap, keyboard mode is when you hold down the A button and the home key on this to pair with your your your, your tablet. And that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn on the Bluetooth here in my on my device. So I'll turn on the Bluetooth here first. So right now it's on and it's looking to pair itself. So what I'm gonna do now is press the home and the A key down at the same time. And as you can see, it's flashing very quickly. It's looking to pair itself. The iPega Extending Game Controller comes up here on the tablet. It says ready to pair. So let me just tap on that and say pair. 
So it should be pairing. It takes a while. Sometimes it can take up to 30 seconds. So it's paired. And right now, as you can see, it's actually just installed in the driver. And right now it says that it's connected. So right now, and it definitely is connected because the flashing has stopped on the controller. The light is solid orange. So now we're paired in keyboard mode. So what so what I've done just for to make it easier for me to show you how to, to map the keys, I just connected the keyboard to the tablet um, so I can actually just go through this a bit quicker. So what I'm going to do right now, the Bluetooth is connected, we're synced. I'm just close this window. I'm going to run a PC game called Fear. I downloaded this from the Steam Network. It's a first person shooter game. Very, very great game. Great graphics. So let me just start this game. So we just press the key to continue. I'm just gonna use the keyboard for a second. So it's what I'm gonna do is actually go into the options. I'm gonna go to control settings. And I'm gonna go to key binding. So most games will have a key mapper option. And especially PC games, you know, lots of them do have this key mapper option. So in this particular game, it's called key bindings. So I go in there. So it's in here, I can actually now select different keys for all the different functions. So there's moving and looking, combat mode, interaction, uh, federal vehicle, miscellaneous. So I'm just going to show you, because what I already did, I already configured the keys from this to work on this game. But let me just show you how you do it. Um, so for example, let's go to moving and looking. And then I go over here so I can select a function for crouching, jumping or whatnot. So Let's select crouch. So right now it's looking for a key input. So I've already paired this up via Bluetooth. So I should just uh, be able to uh, select a button. So I'm gonna select uh, this button here to crouch. And it says this is gonna override the use of this key for another action. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, accept. And as you can see, this is button number three. And as you can see, number three is there. So that's already mapped. So then they can go down to jump and I can select enter for that and let me then s now enter a key for jumping I'm gonna use this button button here the A button so I press that and as you can see number two comes up so that's button number two so I've pretty much you know mapped crouching and jumping from this controller uh, on here so what you would do is you would go down for looking down looking left looking right looking up uh, select different buttons um, on here and um, and you, you pretty much take your time, map all the keys that you want to, and that's it. You're, you're, you're good to go. So let me just uh, show you a couple more key mappings. So what I'm going to do is map um, these keys. Oh, well, actually this um, analog stick for the functions of looking down, left, right, and up. So I'm actually looking... Okay, so I pressed the look down function. So I'm just going to simulate that's a down pull. So that's key. Then I go to look left. So I'm gonna push this to the left. All right, that's mapped. And I'm gonna say looking right. I'm going to go that way. That's there. And one more looking up. Look up that way. So those are mapped. So I've just essentially mapped my right analog stick. And what I've done, I've mapped all the other functions as well. I've mapped my left analog stick and my trigger keys and everything. So let's get right into gameplay um, and as you can see we are we are connected and we are working here very well because I already mapped these keys because as you can see I am navigating throughout the menu alright so let's go to some gameplay now okay so I've mapped all my keys and I'm going to now resume the game I'll start it now let's see up, down, and what I love about this iPega and the Surface 3, I've used many Bluetooth controllers in the past, 
with many tablets and it's always some type of input lag but i'll be honest with you this i cannot see any lag i'm and it's very very fluid so that's impressive that's kudos to microsoft for a great tablet and to ipega for creating a very very versatile controller so let's see if i can move around okay let's see here So what I'm going to do right now is just pause this for a second and dim the lights so you can actually get a better view of the screen. Copy that. Any progress on your door yet? So I just wanted to give you a demo of what it's like, what the game is like, so I turn the lights down. So thanks for watching my demo uh, using this iPega 9023 controller uh, with a Windows tablet, which was the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. If you want to get your hands on one of these, check out my link below and get these from Amazon and you can get them shipped right to your door.